Now we've got uh, our SI joint sufficiently uh, in line. We're going to see if we can add some artificial medium to help hold it in there uh, as a progression because we want to strengthen up all the muscles that help support that area. So the tape that I'm going to put on Amy today is simply to help hold that together. Initially we're going to use what's known as Hypofix or cover roll. You can find this at most drug stores. Also you can find it online. It's a white tape, paperback, adhesive on one side, cloth on the other side. As far as um, limitations, there are none with the, uh, the Hypofix or the cover roll. It's a cloth based tape. If it comes off, don't worry about it. It's simply there to provide some stability. It will not bleed through onto your clothing, but you do need to make sure you have um, good skin contact. So I would suggest that you make sure you use an alcohol swab or something to cleanse that skin in case you have any body oils or lotions on your back that may interfere with the adhesion of this tape. Okay, I've got some pieces already cut here and we're going to put those on Amy first. Now, um, I'm going to do this over the top of the clothing, but in uh, reality you need to do this right along her spine. Now, her spine we've determined are where these um, little spinous processes are and we're going to go along both sides of those. I'm going to run that from about uh, the top of her lumbar spine which would be about five to six inches above her belt line right down to her SI joint which is are just below these two little dimples right in through here and you can kind of feel that there's a triangle right through there so we're going to uh, run just below that and our uh, our goal is to try to provide some stability laterally and rotationally as this. So I'm going to run two pieces of tape down along the side here. I'm going to anchor at the top and I'm doing this in a prone position on her stomach because that's going to promote the most neutral alignment of her spine. I don't have any outside interference that's creating any kind of rotation or side to side bending. Her feet are hanging um, off the end of the bed so we don't have the hips cocked up at all. I'm on the left side of her spine with that one. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. Try to keep as many wrinkles as you can out of this. All right, I've anchored it down below. I'm just going to press down right along the top. And here again, I'm doing this directly to her skin. Now you need to make sure that you don't have any kind of allergies to adhesives before we do this, okay? All right, now, my main roll is what's called Luco tape on the top. And some people try to get by without using the cover roll or the hypofix underneath. That doesn't work very well because two reasons. First of all, uh, your Luco tape will not adhere quite as well and subsequently uh, it'll come off and also it is very, very sticky. Uh, I've had some patients actually lose skin or develop a rash as a result of putting Luco tape directly to your skin. So it's important that you have the white tape underneath, brown tape on top. Don't run off the edges of your white tape with your brown, your Luco tape. So keep your Hypofix directly underneath. Once again, I'm going to anchor at the top with the Luco tape. And you'll notice wrinkles. You should expect wrinkles because that's going to create a little bit more tension. I'm going to hold that down as I pull down towards her feet and then press that all down, pulling downward the whole time as I keep that anchored. I'm going to do that on both sides. You should have anywhere from an inch to an inch and a half off the end of both sides. Okay, so now I have her aligned um, for any kind of side to side bending. A little bit more fixation there. In Amy's case, we had uh, instability on this left side. So I'm going to work directly over that SI joint. And once again, like I said, you can palpate that. That's a triangle shape right down here at the base of your tailbone. And I, what I'm going to do is put an X right here to provide a little torsional stability as well. Same type of thing, I'm going to put the Hypofix or the cover roll tape down first but in a smaller size right there and I'm going to, it's not so important as far as pulling on that one, more so with the Luco tape. And then the second one I'm going to put going just the opposite. So I have a set of railroad tracks basically with an X right there over her left SI joint. 
Now I've created um, stability keeper from going side to side, and this is going to provide some stability for torsional rotation. Okay, over the top, I'm going to put my uh, Luco tape to provide some stability. Once again, starting at the top, anchoring it there, pulling down like so, and this should be anywhere from probably three to five inches just to provide a little stability. I've cut these a little shorter. Once again, tighten at the top, pull down. Now, you're obviously going to need a partner for this. You can't do this by yourself. The things you have to be conscious of, uh, skin breakdown. Sometimes you will not be able to tolerate that for more than two or three days at a time and you may have to take a, a break, but um, if you can manage the skin without any kind of significant irritation, that should be used up to as much as uh, two months, so 60 days worth of taping on a every one to two day basis in an effort to provide some stability. As she uh, strengthens the muscles that help enhance that core, the need for this tape to help provide stability should be less necessary. Now I'm going to work a little bit on some uh, more stability, but we're going to use a different kind of tape. Kinesio tape is what I have here. It's kind of in vogue these days with a lot of athletes. You see uh, a lot of shoulders being taped in all different colors. Uh, you name it, they've got it. But what this is going to do, it, it's unlike the Luco tape that we used earlier, uh, this has some elasticity to it. The intent behind that elasticity is to provide uh, a reminder, a little bit of stability, but not enough to prevent you from being able to move. Where the Luco tape was pretty static in, in regards to its elasticity, uh, that was more for fixation. This is to still provide some movement, to, but also su provide some support to that joint. So what I'm going to do with Amy, and I've already cut this, you can buy this at, uh, I believe uh, sporting goods stores will have this, as well as drug stores will have this. Just Kinesio tape, uh, comes in different colors, this is just a flesh tone. Once again, I'm going to do this um, over the top of her clothing, but uh, if you're doing this at home, you need to do this directly to skin, okay? I'm going to fixate up here at the SI joint. We've already determined that's the middle of this triangle a little bit. I've made three fingers here with um, a base at the end, and that's the base I'm going to put right here at that SI joint. Now, every one I've dealt with wants to stretch this out as much as you possibly can. That's not what you want to do. At most, you want to stretch this out about 25% of its capacity, and you'll see what I'm talking about here as I pull this uh, white paper backing off. Now there's no tension whatsoever as I do that, just enough to get it to, to uh, stick, but I'm going to bring that up. Now by elasticity, if that's 100%, I've stretched that out as much as I possibly can. By 25%, I'm going to back that all the way off and just take it about a quarter of uh, its optimal length there. And I'm going to do the same thing with each finger and I'm going to fan those out. There are a variety of muscles throughout this buttocks that provide some stability to this SI joint. What this is doing is taking some of the stress off of those muscles and providing a little stability um, via external source. I've done that for the left side. I'm also going to do the same thing for the right side to provide stability on both sides because a lot of times what we'll find a little bit more stress on the opposite side than uh, normal simply as a result of a patient shifting their weight over to this other side because of the uh, pain that's associated with the instability here on the, the involved side. So I'm going to do the same thing going the opposite direction. Once again, I'm going to fixate here at the top, hold that, anchor that down, pull that at about a 45 degree angle towards her uh, widest portion of her hips over here. And I'm going to just take that about 100% and then back it off to about 25% of the uh, available elasticity of that tape. And now I have provided an external source of some stability to those uh, both SI joints.